All right, welcome everybody from YouTube. Our first deck of the day for today is going to be a Masterminds Toolbox deck, which as you can see up here, it has the DD next to it, which means donation deck. So this was a donation deck to play some best of ones with. So we're gonna have best of one magic on here, which is not something we do usually, but this one looks really sweet. So um, basically we have a five color control deck where we're going to take advantage of Masterminds Acquisition's ability to get cards from our sideboard. So we're able to have a 15-card sideboard um, in our best of one match. So we can kind of kind of basically have a sideboard in best of one. So that, that's going to be kind of cool. So let's uh, try this out. All right. Go ahead and... Ooh, we can get some packs today. Oh, wait. Reroll. Anytime you have a 500 quest, you want to reroll it. See if you get a 750. Ah, we still got a 500. Oh, wait. Not traditional constructed. Hey, Brad. Hey, Timido. Intellibeam. What's up? All right. Constructed event. So that's the best of one. All right. We got Masterminds Toolbox. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy, this is an interesting looking hand. I, I'm definitely keeping because we have turn two search for Santa. So that's certainly a good reason to keep. This deck looks pretty sweet, especially for best of one where you like have a lot of, um, like basically to playing a deck where you can have like a lot of crazy hands for best of one. That sounds pretty cool. All right, mono blue, aggro. That's our matchup. Hey, Nazgod. What's up? So I do have these. I am recording this here for YouTube. We started the YouTube channel yesterday. So all these decks we get to play and put up there now. So if you all haven't given a follow on YouTube, make sure you do that. Exclamation point YouTube. You can find the link there. If you're watching on YouTube, you can find these live from 3 to 10 Eastern every day on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG. Well, hopefully this Lava Coil works out. If this works out, we're in a really good spot. I could, like, wait a turn to play around Spell Pierce, but waiting a turn just kind of unlocks other counter magic from my opponent and lets them draw more cards. <laughs> uh, they did have a spell pierce. So on the docket today, I'm going to play the Hadana's Stompy deck like we played it yesterday again. Because that deck's been just really impressive. That's going to be our last deck of the day. Uh, don't have any white mana. I think we're going to go ahead and graveyard this. Uh, well, I'm just going to play Search for Iskanta, even though I already have one on the battlefield, just to put a card in the graveyard to make it uh, where we're going to be transforming Search for Iskanta faster. My opponent's probably like, what are they doing? That's a legendary card. But of course, we need seven cards in the graveyard to flip an Ascanta, so we have nothing else to do. Might as well throw it out there. Curious Obsession is such a good card. Hey, Feature. Hmm. These have not been good draws for us. We can't cast anything in our hand. Uh, that's the problem with a three-color deck. I mean, sorry, five-color deck. Sometimes you get stuff you can't cast. Oh, 
So how's everybody Sunday going so far? I'm pretty nervous about the NFL games for today. As y'all know, I'm a Steelers fan, and it's not likely the Steelers are going to make the playoffs, but they have a chance. And I'm pretty nervous about the games later on today. Um, I mean, I guess so. We get to shock in and play to ferry. I don't really think this is going to work. You're in the way. I can't see people talking in the chat. Yeah, I don't really expect that to resolve. <laughs> yeah, I guess the Steelers are in a lot better position than the Broncos. But... Y'all beat us, you know, at your place there a few weeks ago. That was a tough loss. But that's been kind of everybody these days beating the Steelers. Yeah, Cowboys are in. Looks like they're going to be playing the Seahawks first round. Uh, well, our deck, deck did not cooperate that first game. So, 0-1. Have spells we can't cast. Um, mono blue tempo has got to be a difficult deck for us to, to beat anyway, though. Like, we have a lot of expensive sorceries, and that deck is designed to beat decks with expensive sorceries. They just have one drop Curious Obsession, and they protect it which is what exactly what happened. I think that that's just a recipe for us losing. So that's not really a matchup I'm expecting to win too much with our deck. I thought Denver was actually going to make the playoffs three weeks ago, then they tanked against the worst teams in the league. Yeah, like, they... They really have a pretty good team. Surprise. So it's surprising how they've done after that Steelers game. Hey, KW. Welcome. Um, we just coil this. Get this thing out of here. I would like to save the coil for like a Midnight Reaper. But also, that's a three power creature that's going to be attacking. It's going to deal a lot of damage. Three is a lot of power. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, this is this is a sweet donation deck from Goat Boat. Reaping chill. Well then. Well then. That's how you it's should go. that thought. the coaches they had they ran tiny Lindsay into the ground even though statistically Royce Freeman had a better yards per attempt and more TDs they could have had a one-two tandem and now they got no Lindsay yeah. how many times have I unlocked the vault a good amount probably probably about five times or so hmm what am I going to get with this Masterminds Acquisition? So we have... Basically everything we could ever want. With it. So can I... Alright, so I can go Gift of Paradise plus Masterminds Acquisition. And I'm going to look in my my sweet one of sideboard. I think I'm probably just going to tuck J. Light Ranger with Teferi, but we'll see. All right, what do we want? 
Um, all these cards seem pretty cool. <laughs> all these cards are awesome. Um, I could see doing Mirari Conjecture to get that back, but probably just Cleansing Nova. Go with the draw seven. Could I just go Palaka Worm. Yeah, we go with Palaka Worm. Gain seven, they kill it, I draw a card. I go Palaka Worm. I like gaining seven life. Just got my first 7-0 run with Golgari Aggro, which ended Let's by me surviving back. against Mono White on one life. I ended up cutting the Karn for Eldritch Reborn, and it felt really good. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad, yeah, glad you, you know, that's a good 7-0 run, and, and good thing we cut that Karn. No time for a break. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I want to uh, go get Lava Coil and Lava Coil this thing. That's what I probably want to do. Oh wait, now I don't have enough mana. I thought I had enough mana to do that. And Mastermind's Acquisition and Lava Coil, I'm one short. Whoops. That's fine. We'll just kind of expand our resources this turn. It does feel pretty good when you just have, like, just, just like, re all the possibilities in the world. Yeah, we don't need you, Teferi. No more games. See you, Teferi. All right, so we get to Scry with Treasure Map. I guess I'll put a stop on upkeep in case we want to upkeep Scry. Hmm. Well, I can go get a sweeper. Hey, there's lava coil. Found the lava coil. So let's coil bone dragon. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana, so no Palaka Worm this turn. So I'll cast Mastermind's Acquisition. What other sweet card do we want to put in our hand? What are you doing? Three multicolor cards from your graveyard to your hand. Could just go Overflowing Insight. Yeah, Deckmaster's still down. Hmm. It's too many good possibilities. Niv-Mizzet. Thought Erasure. I'm going to take Insight. Yep, there's the link to the YouTube channel. Got the videos from yesterday up. First videos. No, KW doesn't feel odd to wear a dress shirt and a tie, even though I'm just, you know, at my house. Um, I'm very comfortable with it. Thanks, Brick Owl. I appreciate it. Okay, scry to the bottom. Let's we'll have search for his to trigger first. Keep that one. Um. 
one. I think my plan here is just to play Palaka Worm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we have enough to activate this treasure map. Still play Palaka Worm. Let's take a land. All right, I'm not drawing the land. I already drew. <laughs> no, I have, I'm wearing dress pants. Also. Yeah, it's a little different still, Sean. Wearing dress shirt and tie. So a lot of people ask about it. So we get to block. They're just going to sacrifice their creature to gain a life and draw a card. Um, we're doing mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I can maximize the acquisition and cleansing Nova if I would like, if I need to. I could just acquisition and go get. I could go get Settle the Wreckage. I don't have any instance in my graveyard right now for Mirari Conjecture. No, I actually do, do not mix up the tie knots. I always go with the the full Windsor. It's my favorite tie knot. Rise from the grave. There's a there's another bone dragon in there. Yeah, we could Let's get something from our library too. Down. Let's skip to the good part. Hey, there's a cellar wreckage. Um I'm gonna go ahead and crack a treasure to draw a card here. Cause I'll be able to untap the treasure cove with Teferi's ability. Um I guess I could cast Mastermind's Acquisition and still have Settle the Wreckage up. All right, what other really sweet card do I want to get? Good job, Angry Beard. No, we don't have Omniscience. Omniscience would be sweet. No Omniscience. I think I'm going to get Niv-Mizzet. Or Thought Erasure. Maybe I should just get Mirari Conjecture. I should probably just get Mirari Conjecture. What do we have in the main deck? We have Expansion Explosion. I'll just get this so I can get back Marari, or so I can get back Mastermind's Acquisition. So in order to hold up treasure, or and sorry, in order to hold up, hold up, uh, settle the wreckage. I may just mill my opponent out with like having making them draw fourteen. Could just do that. Like it's third chapter here. Sure. Could just mill my opponent out. I kind of want to do that. That sounds like a pretty decent plan, honestly. And I like getting the Settle Wreckage out of my hand so that whenever I cast the Mirari Conjecture, I can get the Settle. I can put the Settle back into, into my hand because this returns, the first chapter is returning an instant 
from your graveyard to your hand, and I don't have any other instance in my graveyard. Oh, that didn't pan out. No basics. <laughs> that that makes sense though with our five color deck. Yeah, I'm, this is a donation deck. That's what the DD at the top stands for. I am usually not a fan of Settle the Wreckage. Certainly do think it's the best when you can use your mana on other things and so on. You stop knocking things all over the place, cat. Graveyard. All right, so we're gonna Mirari Conjecture. Oh, that's fine. I just need to make sure one of these is untapped, so I'd still have the Settle the Wreckage. So I had to, like, manually tap three of the lands. Because otherwise it'll tap the Gift of Paradise lands first. It'll tap both Gift of Paradise lands and then another one. Oh, wait. I have Chromatic Lantern out. Everything adds white mana. It doesn't even matter. You The button Z uh, cancels a mana, like how you tap your mana. All right, now we have as Kanta activation or Settle the Wreckage available. You just want to knock, like everything I have on the table, you just want to knock it off the table, okay. Here, yeah, this is my phone charger. You can... There you go, you can play the chord. Bone Dragon's coming on back to play. <laughs> He's just looking at that cord, waiting for it to do something. Stitcher Supplier, resolve. Hmm. Hawk, I'm covering you with my arm. <laughs> the cat is DQ'd. <laughs> uh, Giovanni, hey, I'm looking for a good Esper Control. Do you have a good list to show? Not really with Esper Control. Um, I think I do have an, an Esper Control deck in you know in my decks on Stream Decker. I should have an Esper Control list on in there, but n none that I'm like super thrilled about. Um, just not really super thrilled about Esper Control in general. Alright, we'll get this Bone Dragon out of here. So they have they have 21 cards left in their library. So this is going to be draw 14. We're going to make them draw 14 of them. In your channel description section. Yeah, I, I'll work on that feature. Yeah, I'll have that eventually. Oh, wow. Lotleth Giant. 
That's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me. Yeah, so... We're going to... Oh, don't kill my Mirari Conjecture. Okay, good. We're going to Mirari Conjecture for Mastermind's Acquisition, and then we're gonna Acquisition and go get Cleansing Nova. And... Destroy the Stitcher Supplier so they mill themselves some more. So now... Oh, wait. No, that's a terrible idea. Oh, that's a terrible idea. We're, I, just killed my, I just killed myself. That was a terrible idea. Because Memorial to Folly. Dang it. Memorial Folly gets him back. Lava the Giant that kills me. No. I was going to mill them out the next turn. Just don't kill me this turn, opponent. Just put some creatures on the battlefield. Yeah, maybe they don't see it. Yeah, I should have got Star of Extinction, not Cleansing Nova. I could have got Star of Extinction and destroyed that. Oh, they just had another Lawless Giant in their hands. Well. Lawless Giant's lame. Man, Lawless Giant just did like 20 damage to us. And killed us from 20. Lame. Alright, well this is just going to make the... The 7-2 even more epic. Alright, I probably could have won that. I was kind of nervous to get creatures because I thought they were going to have removal in hand and they just didn't have more removal in hand. Well, I guess they had Assassin's Trophy. So let's draw a red source for the Stephanie Clarion. Yeah, we had that. It's really lame, Lot of the Giant. Just two, two in a row. Just killing us. Can't they, like, try to win through combat? Because we had combat. All taken care of. <laughs> I wouldn't really call this a Teferi deck. Alright, I'm getting upkeep Scry looking for Red Source, because we're not going to have Deafening Clarion for the next turn. Since I started with Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, I could have gotten a Settle with the Acquisition. But I wanted to... I mean, I should have just gotten... I should have gotten Star of Extinction. I wanted to have them... I wanted to kill their creatures and not... Not just, um... Not just exile them. Because I wanted the, the one mana creatures to die because they mill themselves three whenever they're, they die. There's a black creature with flash? Just a mono black creature with flash? Is this like... Is this actually part of Corset 2019? Or is that part of like some dual deck or something? I've never seen this card. Oh, where's my upkeep stop? Hmm... It's just in the set? Huh. Alright, let's get that upkeep stopped this time. Three, four, five, six. This is six damage coming in here. I can't let these things die because they make tokens. Maybe I should just Mastermind's Acquisition for Settle. 
kind of think I should just go get Settle. Oh, I don't have two white, though. Oh, not having two white's a problem. Hmm. Okay, what's our line? Lyra Dawnbringer? Hmm. Things double white also. We're gonna just kind of hope we get the double, the second white. Uh, whenever this just attacks, they lose two life. That's too much life to lose. I tried the upkeep stop. I guess I, I got it in there a little late. Alright. I didn't mind losing that. So we can just st start over. Yeah, I, like you have to, you have to really hit the upkeep stop pretty early with that. Now that land, the red land there would not have saved us because they had two creatures that whenever the creatures die, um, whenever the creatures die, uh, then uh, they would get more more uh, creature tokens. So couldn't have saved us there. But I built Stompy and went 15 and 1 last night. Hey, good job, Joek. Good job. No, we're doing best of three today. All right, let's keep this. We're doing best of three. We're doing one one donation deck here, and just playing three short games like that isn't really enough for a donation deck. So we're gonna run it back. Um. It is kind of tough that we are very, we are in a very aggressive metagame with the best of one strategy. It can be kind of tough for us. Uh, Deckmaster is not working. It didn't work yesterday either. You can see the decks that we're playing today right up here in the top left-hand corner. You know, this is our, our first deck is the Masterminds Toolbox deck. There we go. That's the card we want. That's certainly a card we want. I'll just put it on the Overgrown Tomb. Since we, um, since we have black mana and green mana with the other lands. Yeah, I know it's not working for other streamers. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's just not working right now. Okay, they got a Chain Whirler. Hmm. This is a land, but it's going to come into play tapped. But I do want to land... I think I'm still going to go Graveyard, since it does come into play tapped, actually. Yeah, that's fine. So we will Contempt. Most likely Contempt Steamkin. Most likely. I 
I mean, I could double Assassin's Trophy, but I like being able to have one more mana and then playing Teferi, ticking up, and holding up Assassin's Trophy. Okay. So Steamkin's certainly going to be as big as, if not bigger than Chain Whirler. And they'll have like the ability to add mana with it and all that kind of stuff. So let's get rid of Steamkin. Yep, it would have been a 4-4 four -four where they add mana. Yeah, it's it's Deckmaster is the the name of the application that you can overlay. Uh, graveyard. All right, we need to move quickly. All right, time for time for Teferi to do its thing. Yeah, Hadonisampi went five zero. Uh, you can actually watch the uh, video on YouTube now. YouTube video is up and running, and I got the four decks we played yesterday are the first videos there. Flame of Keld. Well, we, we can definitely destroy Flame of Keld, so that's nice. I assume they're attacking me with everything. Or not. No, wrong assumption. Yeah, you can find the Hadana Stompy there, exclamation point decks. That's where you find all the deck lists. Yeah, I guess I our, our opponent does not win. like this Teferi. Um, I'll go... Graveyard. Hmm. That's not a bad one. Keep up the pace! Them attacking Teferi does mean that I cannot just use my Teferi to tuck Flame of Keld. So that could certainly have been a consideration. Oh, how... Yeah, this is kind of awkward. I cannot... Wait. Let me actually make sure we don't mess this up. Okay, there we go. So we'll go Gift of Paradise to gain three. Deafening Clarion. Kill their creatures. Untap. The two lands on their upkeep. I'll go ahead and trophy the Flame of Keld. I should trophy it in the draw step. It's just kind of hard to do draw step kind of things. Because I should just destroy it in the draw step so that they don't get... So they have like a chance of drawing that extra land there. But uh, I guess... It, I could have waited a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm running back Kadana Stompy again because it's just been so impressive. So I want to keep playing it. You know what? Yeah. I'm not done So, yet. yep, there we go. Uh, had enough cards in Graveyard to flip as Kanta. And uh, we will activate it for an explosion. We should be good to go here now. I can't really imagine anything our opponent could draw that will defeat us. I mean, they'll need, like, Experimental Frenzy plus other things. Alright, we're gonna get- we're gonna start this one off with a win. Hurry! So, my plan is to Masterminds Acquisition for... Lyra Dombringer, Lyra Dombringer, and play that. I can also go get Sanguine Sacrament to gain lots of life. <laughs> it does stand a chance if we give to them the cards of the explosion. Uh, we will take action. Risk factor, not so good against Dombringer. Not so good. No time for a break. Uh, 
Um, where's Sanguine Zuckerman here? Oh, it's an instant? Wow. That's really nice. So that means I get to untap these two lands and still cast it for Max. Hey, we got our first sub of the day. So notice I lowered the sub sound there. Hope that sounded better. All right, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just gain 16 life. All right, we're at 23. That's a lot of life. Good luck, opponent. There you go. Scoop inbound is right. Master Lamp, thanks for that sub. That deserves some hype votes in chat. And got a win. We are we are on the board. Beat Mono Red Aggro. Yeah, and it just shuffles back into the deck. No, no is the common in the sideboard. No is the common. Ooh. Well, we got Chromatic Lantern. Okay. We can keep. We have, like, an aw awkward land situation here. Okay. Overgrown Tomb certainly improves that. Overgrown Tomb's going to allow Isolated Chapel to come to play untapped and, of course, give us a green source for Gift of Paradise. Nice. Search for Scans is a good draw. This deck should go 80% in ladder. Well... We'll try it out. We just went 0-3, but I didn't play necessarily the best. We're starting over. We're 1-0. Alright, Golgari. What are you going to be up to? They got a, their good start. They're on the play with Wild Growth Walker into... Wild Growth Walker into uh, J Light Ranger. It's quite a good start. It's a little surprising seeing them uh, seeing them keep Lanowar Elf on top. That's a little surprising. Oh no! They destroyed my. Oh no! They destroyed my they, Assassin's Trophy, destroying my land, and I don't have any basics to go get. They just double stone rained me. Just just make sure y'all don't tell me about how the Steelers and Ravens games are doing. I know those are like the those are the 425 games. Do not tell me how those games are going. Because I'm gonna be watching those after stream today. So I don't want any spoilers. Um I guess I'm going to go Chromatic Lantern this time. No, I should probably still go Gift to Paradise. Man, what a backbreaker if they have another Assassin's Trophy. Man, that Assassin's Trophy is bru brutal. TG says, I'm a huge fan of interactive creature decks. I play Blue White Spirits and Modern and Mono Blue and Standard. What do you think about the Mono Blue deck? I think the Mono Blue deck is, is very Me, good. I didn't live through I hell to lose to you. An underrated deck. Um... It's a deck I have, it's probably, like, besides Golgari, it's probably the deck I lose to the most. It's probably the deck I have the worst win rate against, just in general. Alright, how are we going to deal with this Vivian? Oh, I got Teferi, the Kentuck Vivian. Okay, that's fair. So my plan is Contempt Wild Growth Walker. They play Beast Whisperer. Then I Deafening Clarion away. Ugh. The other cards. The wilds are my shield. Oh, that's a really difficult card for Deafening Clarion to deal with.
Hmm. So they're just going to be able to draw three with this Deafening Clarion. Oh well. I guess I could have shocked and played Chromatic... Could have paid two life to have Chromatic Lantern in play. Do you think the split in mono blue should be four dive down two I've spell pierce or the other way around? Like I think the I like the four dive down two spell pierce. Yeah, I like I like dive down more than spell pierce in the deck. Well, Wildgrowth Walker plus Path of Discovery is pretty busted, as we know. I'm glad they're keeping Chupacabra. I mean, that card will do something because of Beast Whisper, but it doesn't do very much. Man, and a Shaper Sanctuary? They're just, like, anti-control. They're just, like, completely anti-control. Man, and we're the control deck. Shaper Sanctuary? Beast Whisper? Man. Oh. How do I report my opponent for not having a win condition in their Jeskai deck? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess maybe the report bug. Yeah, I guess decking the opponents a win con. Eventually, somebody has to, to deck. Yeah, that's just two explorers. Wild Breath Walker gets to be too big. Man, that Assassin's Trophy, though. That certainly really wrecked us. Destroying two lands with an Assassin's Trophy. Just two mana double stone rain. Ooh, that was rough. All right, we're one and one. Definitely keeping the Chromatic Lantern hand. I like this one quite a bit. And I like multiple Vrasis Contempts against the red deck. Cinder Baron. Going very good for us here. Midnight Reaper. Um, so I think I just Contempt Midnight Reaper. I mean, I, I could play Karn here and tick up on Karn and kind of wait a turn on Contempting. I don't necessarily think that that's worth it. You know, because then Karn takes three from Midnight Reaper, and they play, like, another threat, like a Rekindling Phoenix or something. That, then we have to contempt that, and Karn's taking another three. Um, I will I'm pretty close to a full collection. I'm definitely close to, like, kind of everything that matters. Yeah, they're... All right, so they're a green... So they're red-black mid-range... I think we can uh, go ahead and shock it and have Assassin's Trophy available. Do you think a deck could exist using Devious Cover-Up? Green Black Seasons Pass. Yeah, Devious Cover-Up is... That is a strong enough card for standard. Absolutely. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put the Teferi in my hand right now before something happens to Siege... Or, sorry, before something happens to Karn. And I think I can afford another two life to have the availability of Rass's Contempt here.
try to Johnny with Wild Growth Walker and Explorer? Yeah, that's my Naya value deck. Has all that stuff in there. We played that deck yesterday. You can find a YouTube video of that deck. Or, you know, you can watch other Twitch VODs. Let me look for a deck list for you. Naya value. Here we go. This deck's very good. Pretty surprising our opponent didn't do anything with six mana there. So we're going to have, so we have seven, access to seven mana right now. So we'll have Teferi. How convenient. An excellent choice. And with the land, so I'm going to go ahead and Teferi and Gift to Paradise. So we didn't even need the land for that. You know what? Still doing it. I'm not done yet. I'll be surprised if we lose this one. Don't think we will. Now we're just kind of going towards our Masterminds acquisition. That's what we're looking for. So we can get all of our sweet cyborg cards. We need to move quickly. Expansion Explosion would be another really good card just to have something that draws us lots of cards. Yeah, so this is Chromatic Lantern turns all of our lands. All of our lands have the ability to add mana of any color. So, you know, we can cast Assassin's Trophy with Steam Vents and Dragon Skull Summit, for example. It's my favorite foreign movie. Hold that thought. Don't need a Glacial Fortress or... Gift to Paradise, so we'll go ahead and I'll make to keep ticking Karn up. Yeah, we get Glacial Fortress anyway. So they can sacrifice one of their Gobos to shock myself to ferry or Karn. In case of Stompy, how bad is it to use tap lands, and what do you, what does it need next set to make the deck less viable? Make the deck less viable? I don't. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, okay, so, okay, I'm already using the tap lands in the deck as far as the woodland streams, and it'd certainly be better with, um, breeding pool, I'll certainly make the deck better, but I haven't, hasn't affected me too much using woodland stream. Um, I do think Hinterland Harbor is, is quite important for the deck, though. Just having dual lands in the deck is really important. Um, I would... If you have five wild cards, I would do three rare lands and two Adonis climbs. Over the other way around. Yeah, a little surprising they just shocked us. They could be looking for... Contempt or Eldest Hurry. Reborn, they'll deal with these things. There's an expansion explosion. Well chosen. Alright, well we're getting search for Scantha. We'll 
Well, we've already we've already started spoiler season right now. Like you know, we already know some cards from Ravnica Allegiance. Um, the set will be out and uh, ready to play on Magic Arena on January seventeenth. That's the date that they said that it'll be Don't released make another on Magic move. or on Arena here. So that's you know only eighteen nineteen days away. So that's coming up. But beginning of January is whenever the the preview season will really uh, come out into full force. No, no kind of collections will be wiped or anything like that, no. So, I know no good amount of people are saving up their wild cards. People have been saying they've been doing that in chat, saving up wild cards. Um, and saving up gold to buy packs. Nope, no cards rotate. Rotation only happens once a year, and it's the fall set every year. So you're looking at like September, October each year, whenever the fall set releases. That's when rotation happens. So you don't have to worry about rotation for quite a while. You may regret that choice. Uh, MTGA will not be compensating for skip to card players point. for cards that rotate in the future. As far as I know. I think it'll just be... There'll be an, another format where you can still use your cards that rotate, but I believe that they'll just stay on your account. Alright, so... Just like we kind of did previously... I'm, I'm not going to be casting this explosion yet, so I'm just casting a search for Escanta and, and having it die. Just putting it in the graveyard to flip my other search for Escanta. Yeah, so I think they're going to have some kind of extended like format. They'll have the cards that rotate out standard. Yeah, we got Super Friends Assembled. I'm kind of waiting until I can just explosion my opponent for like 20. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised that Brawl is not a format on here. I'm really surprised they stopped supporting Brawl so fast when they released Brawl at basically the worst time. Like in the summer, before rotation. Um, why burn into speed instead of lava coil? No real reason. Keep up the pace. Right, so to make sure I don't deck. So what do we have? We have like treasure map, gift of paradise. Let's go get gift of paradise. That'll get us more mana. This will aid us. And it just helps with Teferi's tick up having another gift of paradise. Mina. Wait, did I play a land? I did not. Sweet. We'll add tap. Untap Ascanta. And another one of those. So, right now we have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 mana. Plus then the untap, so that'd be 18, 19, 20, 21. So I have 21 mana right now. And of course this costs 4, then X, so we can do 17 right now. Well, I couldn't Vraska ultimate last turn. I ticked, I ticked Vraska up to... Um, up to 10 last turn. So now we can now we can Vraska ultimate. That was a cheap shot. 
shots. Make their life total 10, and we'll have them draw 17 cards. We gotta be nice. Oh wait, it'll just be 15 right now, because I'm not, I'm not gonna wait to untap and everything. So 15. Wait, do I really have to tap all this mana myself? Come on, all these things tap for like different colors. You figure it out, auto tapper. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, okay, I'm still two mana off. Right, whatever, eleven. Hey, MTG Nurgle. Yeah, I miscounted because I forgot I'm I'm untapping four mana, not untapping two mana. So whatever, eleven. Ugh. Thank you, thank you, Auto Tapper. Just, just fire, just fire both them for a bunch and let let them draw a lot of cards. <laughs> Doesn't need to be that difficult. All right, two and one. Doesn't matter how much, really. It's an arbitrary, arbitrary number. Just a lot. Ugh. All right, we are two and one. It's working a little better this time. <laughs> yeah, that struggle was real. Yeah, MTG Nerd Girl is in the chat. If you want to watch another wonderful streamer who is usually on after uh, I'm on later on at night playing limited here on Arena, go give her a follow. She definitely deserves it. We're doing best of one with this donation deck. And uh, it's pretty sweet how we get to use Mastermind's Acquisition to have a sideboard in our best of one match. So we, we're still playing with 75. So we get to go grab lots of cool cards from our sideboard. We have 15 one-ofs in the sideboard. So, hmm. I have a lot of mana. Oh, I can't cast. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have three mana. I can't cast this anyway. I should just upkeep scribe. I was kind of thinking this was like chromatic lantern, like I was gonna have like my four mana. And I'm not gonna be doing holiday cube. Yeah, I want. And I do want that card. I want the red mana for. Um. For Deafening Clarion. So next turn we can cast Mastermind's Acquisition. Go find Deafening Clarion. Yeah, because Holiday Cube's on, on Magic Online. and I like playing Arena a lot more. Hmm. The problem with getting Deafening Clarion is if they have an Explore creature here, I'm kind of in trouble. But I don't have two man, two white mana for like a saddle or something like that. I'm I'm still just gonna get it. I'm gonna just hope they do not have an Explore creature. No Explore creature, please. Also, we'll get get a stop on our upkeep. That looks like no Explore creature to me. Um, Cold, I wouldn't say I always complain about best of one. It's just not how I prefer my magic. Oh, there's a soot in the sideboard? Well, that probably should have been what I got. Yeah, I should have got soot then. Oh, well. Not punished. Oh, I didn't realize you were joking. Yeah, uh, the MTG extension where you can hover over the cards to read them is broken currently. Did not work yesterday or today. 
So we just got to kind of wait it out and wait for it to be fixed. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we're playing five color. Oh, there is no soot. Okay, well, good thing I did not go to the, go look for a soot then. I know my responsibility. No time for a break. All right, we'll just untap some lands. We'll have the ability to have Assassin's Trophy available. If need be. Kind of figured that was coming. That Assassin's Trophy. Or the Brass's Contempt. Okay, and our opponent does not want to... They probably just have a bunch of removal. They don't want to try to fight back from a treasure map being out there gaining us a bunch of value. And we are 3-1. and one. So it's 500 gold to enter our event. So even if we lose the next two, we get 400 gold and we get three cards. So only be out on 100 gold. We want to win one more, though, because one more win gets not only our entry fee back, but then we also get a rare as well. So let's try to get at least one of our next two. This hand's awesome. Search for Scanta and then Chromatic Lantern. And we even have Gift to Paradise. The problem is we don't have any sweepers or interaction, really. Um, so if our opponent's on an aggressive start, you know, that could certainly provide to be, prove to be problematic. Um, but this is definitely a good opening hand. So after this league, we're going to have, as you can tell by our decks up here, we got Bant Legends, Grixis Dragons, and Hadana's Stompy on the docket for today. Now there's best of three option. That's what we're going to be playing in our other ones. You can play best of three leagues. There's no ranked best of three. That's, that's something that will... Uh, come down the line, though. If ranked matches are your cup of tea. Yep, Chris, there you go. There's our the YouTube link. So I am putting the videos up on YouTube now. So far, I just have the four videos from yesterday. And so each, each one, like this deck will be its own video. And then Bant Legends and so on. And we're at 99 subscribers already on YouTube. Cool. Thanks, Log. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Hmm. Think we can get rid of Settle the Wreckage, honestly, in this matchup. Graveyard. We're doing a good job of blanking our opponent's removal, if they're sitting there with a bunch of removal. I should have played Watery Graver Temple Guard in this turn, so I don't have to pay life. Probably. Yeah, because I still could add three mana and kept up expansion. I do like using expansion on this land. Graveyard. And our... Goal right now. I'll just pay the life. In case they have, like, thought. If they have Thought Erasure, I'll probably want to Explosion and just draw three. I think. Our goal right now is to flip Ascanta and have Ascanta help win us this game. And 
and now I don't need to worry about shocking in because I don't have a whole lot of mana anyway for explosion. I'm <laughs> not going to have the whole album just on repeat. Um, but... Not very. It wouldn't be so bad. Nordic says, life doesn't generally matter much against Demir decks. What? No. Life... Your life certainly matters, Nordic. Don't tell yourself that. I think your life matters. So they're just getting an Eldritch Reborn on the battlefield. Doesn't do anything except for five mana we discard a card. This is a tough one. This card's obviously good, but they're sitting with seven cards in hand that they, I guarantee you they have another Eldritch Reborn if they just fired off an Eldritch Reborn right there. Um, I'll still keep it though. It's still good. So I want to explosion for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can explosion for five. So we'll find some other random card to discard to Eldest Reborn. I, of course, could flip treasures and draw even more cards, but five should be enough. No, donation deck. Sorry, Shay, I guess the, somebody right above you did the YouTube thing, so it didn't, didn't work. But there you go. There's the YouTube link. Oh, right, I could have discarded Ascanta. Yeah, I could have discarded that. I just missed it. We are at seven cards in Graveyard now. So we'll be able to flip our Ascanta. I'm just on the play Teferi plan now. They're not going to be able to kill Teferi. They're not going to be able to kill Teferi before... Before the Saldus Reborn. I guess they could counter. They could counter Teferi and then they get Teferi back. So no, we are not on play Teferi. It's counter spell. Never mind, not on Plates of Fairy. We're on increased mana. I'm gonna keep Search for Scanta in hand to discard to a campaign or something. Yeah, Counterspell would be bad. So they moved to discard last turn. They just discarded a Ritual of Sit. Makes sense. Hmm. Try to have upkeep stop, but too late for that. Where's our Masterminds Acquisitions at? 
They're not part part of the bottom eight cards, so they're some of the next twenty-four. Hey, there we go. Um, I'll throw out Teferi first. I think I'd rather them counter Teferi than Mastermind's Acquisition. If they have a counter spell here. Because Acquisition's going to go get Banefire. Banefire will kill them. This, you know what? I'm not done yet. Hey, it's hot outside. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah, so they just did not counter to fairy. Yeah, we're playing a new deck here. This is a donation deck. We're playing some best of one. Magic. Explosion kind of kills them. Kind of kills them a little bit. So I'm expecting an Eldest Reborn or a Contempt, something like that for Teferi. But they they also know, my opponent knows about the explosions. They know if they just tap out to kill Teferi that we explosion and kill them. That's annoying. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can find another Masterminds Acquisition next turn with Azkanta. So they have Scatter. Scatter, a bunch of cards that don't matter. So they have just a bunch of cards that don't matter. So I need to use two treasures to activate as Kanto this turn. Contempt doesn't matter. I don't I don't care if they contempt to fairy. Also, they don't have the mana to right now anyway. Hey Armored Panther. Yeah, Scatter doesn't matter either. Like none of these cards matter. So that's good to know. They have just a bunch of cards that don't matter. So do I use two two treasures to activate as Kanta? I don't think so. Yeah, I was very confident that we we're gonna be able to find another Masterminds acquisition. Alright, I'm gonna assume this is 13. Haven't counted. I'm under assumption this is 13. Hope this is. Alright, good. There we go. Can you help explain why we wouldn't want to keep Teferi? Because we were about to kill them. We didn't have very many cards in our library that we didn't know about. And activating Ascanta and our draw steps, we're going to be able to find another Masterminds Acquisition very soon that was going to get Banefire and kill our opponent. But the Teferi just didn't really matter at that point. The only things that mattered were was the Ascanta and our Masterminds acquisition in our library. Hmm. We're on the draw. I wish we had one of these was a green source for Gift of Paradise. Hmm. This is a tough this is a tough hand. Hmm. So we're basically keeping just treasure map on turn two and hoping treasure map beats our opponent. 
It's kind of unlikely in best of one where a lot of people are aggressive. I'm going to mulligan this. Alright, I like this more. I need a land, but I also need a shock land. So I'm going to bottom that. Getting a little greedy. No, so in even in paper, it's really it's only in your 75. You can only get, you can't get any card you own. Like you can't just bring a collection and uh, take anything with Mastermind's acquisition. It's only cards in your main deck and sideboard are the only cards that are legal targets for Mastermind's acquisition. I think the wording is pretty weird for any card you own outside the game. I think it would be nice if it kind of said like in your main deck or sideboard, but it does allow you to get cards from exile. So if something's exiled, you can go get it. <laughs> yeah, Mastermind resolves. Okay, one second. I'm gonna go to the attic real quick. Let me go get something. <laughs> You just have like this huge binder that you're just like flipping through for three minutes. Huh, that card could be kind of cool right now. The opponent's like, just do something already. You're like, hold on. I can find, I'm going to find like the card I want. Just give me a minute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play Teferi here. Even though Teferi can just die to what's on the battlefield. Um, I won't that's kind of like from draw the card, gain anymore. five life. We need to move quickly. I was hoping our opponent would wait with that because we get to untap our lands. I was really hoping that they would wait until after we untap our lands and I could expansion and copy their Wither's Lightning here to kill their Chain Whirler. That would have been nice. Oh, we can still do that. Don't worry about our, our isolated chapel copying your Wither's Lightning. Kill Chain Whirler. That's a good point. Yeah, it's worded that way for EDH. Yeah. Because you have know, lots of cards in Exile and EDH, that's for sure. And obviously your commander as well. Alright, view battlefield. Go over here. Um, trophy's usually kind of good, but I don't think in this scenario. But if they have, like, you know, a frenzy, I would like a trophy. Perfect. That's a good one. Let's go get... I think we go get Lyra Dawnbringer. I could see us getting... Uh, we could just go get Sanguine Sacrament also. So, like, right next turn... Oh, Glacial Fortress is going to come into play tapped. So, like, we get to play a land here. We could have one, two, three, four, five. We could also crack that. We could gain a whole lot of life with this uh, Sacrament. Five... Let's see. We're looking at... I think we could cast it X equals 8. No, let's get Palaka Worm. Actually, yeah, Palaka Worm's the card. Yeah, Palaka Worm's just the card. That's that's just the card. Um, I'll have to shock with Overgrown Tomb. It's probably fine. I need that trophy back now. I'll keep stop. Ooh. That was a close one. Why not? Bottom. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So I can use two treasures and not shock, or I can shock and only use one treasure. I think I would rather shock and use one treasure. We're going to need these treasures for more cards. There 
We're about to gain another three life with this Gift of Paradise. And I just, I really want to find another Sanguine Sacrament, or sorry, another Mastermind's Acquisition. And go get a, a Sanguine Sacrament. Draw. Okay, so we're gonna Gift of Paradise. This thing. And then I'll play Chromatic Lantern. And then I'll play Karn. And Karn will go ahead and tick up. Start digging. Until you have lived as a good choice. Ooh, Deafening Clarion with a 7 7. Get that lifelink in there. Next turn. Ooh, Deafening Clarion with lifelink. Next turn. I like that. I like them tapping three mana and only dealing one damage with three mana. And especially with us with us having a Deafening Clarion next turn. Our opponent may have wanted just to... Oh no, are they gonna just kill us? I mean, they, they only know the top card. Please don't kill us. Woo! Didn't die. Steal alive. Return. So if our opponent just left the shock on on the bat on on top, they could have like in response to me doing or, like in response to me doing that like shock this and use their two fire brands. Um, but now I just get seven life link. They need to do that to have a chance. Oh wow! Just best card we could find. Um, we'll get a Dawnbringer. I don't think I need to just have a huge X spell now. Maybe I should have got the big X spell. Spermal Frenzy is still quite good. Curious choice. Still quite good. I guess I should have just got the big X spell. Yeah, we would have gained two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, because one of one of those would have been tapped. So we would have gained 22 life. I probably should have just gone the gain 22 life card. But. Banefire was lethal. That's true. That's a good point. Banefire would have been lethal. Alright, 5 and 1. And we earned a pack. We're going to wait till the end of the league, though, to open the pack. Well. We'll celebrate the end of the league with the pack opening. Yeah, anywhere to see the deck? Yep, you can always find all my decks. Actually, Noxy did it right above you. Exclamation point decks. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the chat again. That's where you can always find all the deck lists. So you can find the Hadana's Climb there. Uh, yep, Mulligan. I'll just leave it as the Glacial Fortress, because that's definitely coming to play tapped. <laughs> hey, Saltmaker. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Alright, facing Golgari. Coming in right in time. 
Or I don't need to trophy the wild growth walker and just give them infinite mana. Honestly, maybe I should just kill the land war elf. Uh oh. Vivian. I got a trophy with Vivian's name on it. So we have the answer to the Vivian, but all their follow-up stuff will be kind of tough. Let's we do get to play Teferi next worthy. turn. Balance comes. I'm letting this tick up resolve first so they have less information before I trophy. Scars are lessons written hey, in Hey, nice. Skin. You went 5-0 with Rakdos midrange. Good job. Right on, Skip. Keep up the pace. That's a good one. That's certainly a good one. Yeah, that's that's a great one because especially if, if their their plan is Jade Light Ranger this next turn, I would love their plan to be Jade Light Ranger this turn. Yeah, next turn we get to Clarion and Search. Ugh. Rude. But we're still gonna have a good turn next turn with Clarion plus Search. Enough. Grumpy Pants has been having a lot of luck with blue eye control. Ooh, they they sacrificed their land war elf so they don't get to play another Jade Light this turn. That's fine. You can play around those way too. Graveyard. So when they're going to graveyard the Assassin's Trophy. Assassin's Trophy is just so good against us. It's just two mana, um, you know, instant speed vindicate. We don't have any basics in our deck. People have been really getting us with Assassin's Trophy so far because we don't have any basics. It's just so tough. Oh, no. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. That can't. Let's tear this place apart. There's like basically no reason to. I guess I could do a draw step and you after they draw nature. their card. I was gonna say there's no reason to like wait on upkeep assassin's trophy kind of thing because it comes into play untapped anyway. So I play Vraska. My plan, like if I get to play Vraska next turn, my plan is to minus um, because I believe the, like if I tick up, I think like the Vraska is going to die to the trophy either way. And I would, I would like the treasure token to get more mana towards explosion. Yeah, Golgari is, is incredibly good. I just kind of have everything. Well, no land for us for Relic Seeker. So I'm going to Contempt the Midnight Reaper. Hmm. 
Okay, let's get let's get that land. Let's play Relic Seeker. All right, they're gonna destroy my land with trophy. I guess I'd want them to destroy the steam vents. Steam vents, I think, is our worst land. I'd be I'd be pretty surprised if they just destroy the land with assassin's trophy, though. I think that'd be pretty surprising. Uh, you can find the YouTube channel here. Just started it. Just got yesterday's videos up. For our, the first videos. Yeah, of course, our opponent doesn't realize that it's just going to be like I double stone rain for their Assassin's you. Trophy, and so they're probably saving it for a better target. I wouldn't be surprised if their other card's Contempt. Yeah, okay, so their other card is Contempt. Like how they're holding the two cards, so. I'll be taking that. All right, we have, we can explosion for three right now. So if we draw a land, we get to explosion for four. Wow, that's a great draw. That's a great draw. We could really use like a, a settle the wreckage. Can we draw settle? Yeah, okay. Can you help us draw settle? Ugh, get to paradise. Um, let's just explosion for three. Yeah, you're standing in front of the computer now, Hawkeye. Okay, X is three. Deal three to you, I draw three cards. So you wanna build a Grixis opponent's card deck full of, yuck. Full of Chaos Wand, Expansion, Thief of San <clears throat> Thief of Sanity, Hostage Taker, Direfully Daredevil. We're not dead yet. If our opponent doesn't trophy. They they can trophy and not let us gain the three life. Oh yeah, definitely Eldest Reborn, hundred percent. Rotate. We still have another draw step. If we just draw Mastermind's Acquisition or Settle the Wreckage. Um, I think those are about our only draws. Ugh, I thought that was Mastermind's Acquisition. You know, I saw the 2BB. I was looking at the mana cost. See 2BB. Uh, I was thinking that was Mastermind's Acquisition. Oh, Entrancing Melody, that needs to go in the opponent's deck, deck, of course. All right, five and two. Five and two. Not so bad. We got to our five win goal. So we got, we got a couple free ones here. Yeah. We're one man away from Get to Paradise. And we also have, um, if we do get there with the, the Gift of Paradise, then we'll have Deafening Clarion. And we even have Treasure Map to start. All right, let's go ahead and upkeep Scry for a land and then just play other Treasure Map. Hey, Zerf, it's going really well today. We're starting Sunday off with a fun donation deck here. We're playing some best of ones with a Masterminds Acquisition five color toolbox deck. That's right, has all that stuff. And I think it is worth two life to get treasure map in play. We're gonna be able to gain six with these get to paradises.
This is the definition of spicy. <laughs> All right. No stop. Just draw, draw the card. Okay. Well, I'm just. I didn't want to scry and not hit the land because I absolutely wanted to deafening Clary on this turn. Definitely want to get rid of these two. So. Didn't want to risk it. Um, we'll go on the Temple Garden to start with. <laughs> you need more spoilers? Uh... Today Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. Probably next week. Next week there's gonna be spoilers for sure. We may need to wait till next week. All right, I'm gonna be playing this and activating both treasure maps. I don't really want to settle the wreckage that Midnight Reaper right now. They're stuck on land. I'd rather try to get to Teferi or something else. Alright, bunch of scries. What are we looking for? I'm not sure. Probably not Glacial Fortress. What are we looking for? Yeah, I'll take Contempt. Contempt's a good one to look for. We can just Contempt this Midnight Reaper. And then we still have one mana left over to scry again. Oh, I should Teferi here. I have double Gift of Paradise. What am I doing? I should just Teferi, Teferi, tick up, untap my two Gift of Paradises, and then still have Contempt. I'm just not used to Teferi untapping and getting so much mana. I'll take another Contempt. Yeah, I could have had one mana Teferi there. Well, yeah, we'll live that dream now. So I'll draw Contempt, have Treasure Crow... Treasure Cove, crack a treasure in case we draw a land. We get to play the land. And I'll still untap the two Gift of Paradise things. Death Right Shaman was a messed up card with fetch lands. Without fetch lands, it's... I think it could, you know, it's like... I don't think it's overpowered if there's not fetch lands in the format with Death Right Shaman. You know, I don't think it was overpowered in standard... Or anything like that. Who? Yeah, four, four growth spiral, plus four gift of paradise. Then Teferi is just gonna be like free. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna do our our plan here of Teferi tick up and hold up contempt. I'm known for my excellent type. Hurry! Nah, I'm not gonna use treasures to play search for search for Escanta. I'm gonna keep the treasures. And I'm still not like really in the mood to settle the wreckage. Or, yeah, to settle the wreckage. So I don't really want to give them more mana. Thanks, Canner. Yeah, no problem, Matthew. I took care of it. Um, uh, I guess upkeep scry. I don't know if I need an upkeep scry. I probably don't. Not like when we have treasure cove. Because we can draw our card first, and then we can scry with more information before we draw another card with treasure cove. 
uh, Z. Let me figure out how, okay, how are we gonna use our mana here, Gift to Paradise, Masterminds Acquisition, everything we have. I think we're gonna, let's go ahead and, well, I'll just crack this thing so they stop auto-tapping. Auto-tap is just trying to make me use my Treasure Cove and I don't want to. All right, so we're gonna use those to gift this land. And then we have four mana and we'll masterminds. Do I even need to masterminds here? Maybe I should just get Search for his Cancer in play. Yeah, I'll just get Search for his Cancer in play. Get more mana with Chromatic Lantern and does can Search for his Cancer. Well, I mean, Mastermind's Acquisition can find cards in your in your library, so if you ever want it to ferry with it, you can just search your, in your library. It's, it's not only just sideboard. Stronger. It's not like, like Glittering Wish or like some of the search cards from years past. So I'm, I don't want to use the Settle the Wreckage because I don't want to give them more mana, basically. They're sitting on four mana. I don't want them to be able to have extra mana to work towards the Vivian Reed, Carnage Tyrant, Scala. stuff like that. So that's why I wasn't using. I think I do Graveyard. Okay. So... One, two, three, four, five. We'll kill the kill Vivian. Draw five. Okay, so you've got claws. Wow, not even I'm any not lands. Losing everything again. Um, discarding chromatic lantern. The wild wasn't meant to be con Sometimes restoration means retribution. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I could have played that out on their upkeep to keep that extra card. That's a good point. Certainly could have done that. What do I want an acquisition for? I'm not sure. Do I just want to ferry? I think I may just want to ferry. Sorry, hold that thought. I'm down to ten. We got Gift of Paradise to make that 13. Come to me. Yeah, I think I'm saving sell the records for Carnage Tyrant, certainly. All right, so we'll be settling next turn. I think I'm just going to trophy this Vivian. I'm getting now, too yeah, they have like six mana now and everything. Maybe I should have just trophied Vivian before. <laughs> you have to yeah, do we could go get Sang that. Sanguine Sacrament to make it lots and lots of... Yeah, we didn't know if they have the six mana, but with them... With them, certainly... Let's they could, you know, tick up Vivian point. and find a land. Um, all right, what card do we want? Hmm. All these cards are kind of good. I could just get Cleansing Nova right now and just destroy these two creatures. 
That's not that bad. Yeah, maybe I should just do that. They just don't get more mana. Let's just do that. Get Carnage Siren out of here like that. All right, they are done. They are done. So, Star, Star of Extinction would kill my Teferi though also, which is the problem with getting Star of Extinction there, is my Teferi would be gone as well. Okay. So, six and one. Or six and two. And we'll drop in the side. We have we have ways to get our cards back with We have like the not only Mirari Conjecture, but then we have that thing that can get We have that like whatever revival card that gets uh this land comes into play tapped. Um a revival land that gets three multicolor cards back from our graveyard. So we can grab like a Niv Mizzet and a Teferi and something else back and like an Assassin's Trophy or something. You know, like if I would have got Niv Mizzet there and it would have got Chupacabra. No, no Zakama in the sideboard. This isn't this isn't my deck that I put together. I cannot take credit for this deck. This deck's sweet. I can't take credit for it. No, it doesn't choose it at random. You get to pick like you get to pick a card in your sideboard, basically. Yeah, everything worked out, Thunderbeard. The videos are up on YouTube. Everything worked out just fine. Wait, is this? That's Arclight Phoenix. All right, so let's go library here. Whoa, you're gonna just be in the way. Oh, I don't have green mana right now. Oh, I don't have green mana to cast Gift to Paradise. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I definitely want to land. <laughs> what are you doing, okay? Knocking over the trash can? Graveyard. Okay, so now the Electromancer kind of changes my decision up. My plan was to uh, cast Acquisition this turn and go get Unmoored Ego, and then Unmoored Ego away the Phoenix. However, with Electromancer in play, it's likely that they just get Phoenix into play next turn. So I think my new plan is just to cast Deafening Clarion here. I guess I could still get Ego, and then if they do get Phoenix... Yeah, let's still just go get Ego. And then even if they get Phoenix back, I can just go Deafening Clarion next turn and kill the Phoenix and the Electromancer and everything like that. And then they ha they'll have less instants of sorceries and make it unlikely that they get it back again for another time. So they're going to get two Phoenixes back here. If we get another untapped land, I can get to Paradise plus Deafening Clarion. Because we're playing a donation deck, Warpoxio. I mean, that was a good card. If they have a if they have a Drake follow up. There's a Drake follow up.
All right, gonna go down to five. To cast this on Mordigo. And get Arclight Phoenix out of here. So, I'm guessing they have Opt in their hand. It's nice how Arclight Phoenix is just the top card. Yeah, they have Opt in their hand. Oh, they've had Negate. Woo! Alright, get those two from the graveyard. Library, what else they got? Two Crackling Drakes, three Crackling Drakes, a Niv-Mizzet, a Murmuring Mystic, a Mirari Conjecture, a few Electromancers. Alright, we're at five, but they have a Shock in hand. They did, oh yeah, could they, maybe they just didn't have the Negate for the Clarion? They must not have. They must have just drawn the negate. Oh no. That's a huge problem. That'll do. I'm not able to play Gift of Paradise still. So we'll just expansion, copy the negate. Oh, they did not even use the negate. Wow. Huh. That's odd. And I guess I play this? I guess I'll just fire this off. They just never want to use their negate. Yeah, we could have expansion the trophy or expansion the negate, either one. I wanted to do it right then when they could only have one piece of interaction, when they could only have, like, negate. If I wait until their turn and do it, they could have, like, negate plus one of these could be either another negate or a dive down or something like that. I guess I could have looked in their library to see if they have more things like that. What if Dovin Bond was one blue white plus one choose yourself or Dovin Bond and choose target creature that creature cannot attack chosen target minus two put an artifact token into play which reads at the start of each upkeep scry one. It's a pretty cool design. I like it. That's a pretty neat design. Two, three, four. I'm just going to pass and have Contempt and Expansion up. I could have copied the Chart of Course, of course, but whatever. I think I'd rather be able to basically have this expansion for their negate. You know, I get to negate their negate. I like Assassin's Trophy as a card here for us, um, but I really just wanted to flip Ascanta. Hmm. I don't have enough mana to contempt with. Contempt with expansion backup, so I'm gonna have to wait till my turn. So they're gonna be able to draw three and deal three. I hope they don't have two negates. But thankfully, this is their only Niv.
All right, Niv is down. Niv is down. Now keep scry. So they have two drakes and a murmuring mystic and then some goblin electromancers. They had none of those. Good for us. Um, so we'll cast this. I like Niv Mizzet a lot in this matchup, but they'll just kill with Beacon Bolt when we draw a card. Maybe I should just get Marari Conjecture. I'm one mana away from being able to play Marari Conjecture, though. I'd have to wait till next turn. Oh, y'all think it's just Carnage Tyrant? I'm more worried about dying than killing my opponent. I kind of just don't want to die. Hmm. This is tough. Plockers just gain seven, draw one card. Go insight. I think this will help me not die. I want to have lots of answers to their things. Yeah, maybe it should be Mirari Conjecture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? No lands we can just play on tap to not have to shock? I didn't want to shock. I guess we have to shock, though. Uh, I didn't want to shock. There's our untapped land. And now, I assume we're going to have enough Let's answers for everything they, they can do thought. now. Oh, I played the wrong one. I meant to play Karn there. Oh, well. So uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just pass. We can have as can't activation plus scry with both our treasure maps here. So how many win cons do they have? They have two crackling drakes. Yes, yeah, so they have two crackling drakes. One. Um. What, one Murmuring Mystic and like three Electromancers? No, I don't think that Bane Fire. Just 
Just looking for more Masterminds acquisitions now. They have 15 cards left in their library. I guess I'm not... Let's see. Let's go coil this. Do they have dive downs in their deck? That's kind of annoying. Get the two life. I didn't see a dive down whenever I looked, but I didn't take a whole lot of time. No time for a break. Dive down's not super yeah, it's not super common with Phoenixes. How are you on mana? One, two, three, four. All right, so no Vraska. Okay. Opponent gave up. Couldn't handle it. We unboard Ego away their Arc Light Phoenixes and just kind of went from there. Just kind of gained lots and lots of uh, mana and eventually got there. Oh, Akarashi, hey, we're just playing. Good match. Good. Like, that was a really good game. Yeah. So I'm guessing you didn't have uh guess you didn't have that negate for the deafening clarion. You must have drawn the negate that the next turn after we deafening clarion to weigh your creatures. But yeah, we went seven two. Yeah, we had we started with that O three that you know I was still figuring out the deck and everything. I went from there and went um seven two. Uh yep, yep, you top decked it right after. Yeah. That's that's a Mastermind's Toolbox. Um, it doesn't necessarily do the best. Here, you can check out our deck list. Uh, here, we're not necessarily the best against the aggro decks, but we've been beating a couple. Like, we have a lot of... There you go, there's the deck list. We have, we have a lot of life gain stuff. Um, with Mastermind's Acquisition, gets to go find us, like... Lyra Dawnbringer and uh, Palaka Worm and Sanguine Sacrament against like the those kind of aggro decks. Mono Blue is certainly the toughest matchup for us, I think. I think Mono Blue is probably just the toughest matchup in general for that deck. Any tips for the Value Town matchups against humans? Um, don't attack. That's a big one. Um, I wrote, I wrote a really large. Uh, 10,000 word guide on value town with um, two parts one parts all about sideboarding and some of the most important decks from last summer which humans was certainly in there so i'd recommend looking just google search green white value town uh complete guide kind of thing and there should be a lot on uh on sideboarding with that Okay, we got Narcomoeba and Lazav for our rare and mythic. Not so bad. So yeah, this deck was pretty fun. If you want something different for your best of one matches, um, and you want to just have kind of crazy games where you get to play lots of different cards and you want to play all the colors, check this deck out. This deck was pretty sweet. I really liked it. Um, yeah, I liked the deck quite a bit. I don't really like the release to the wind in the sideboard. I mean, I know that card's good with Mirari Conjecture, but I don't think I don't know if that's necessary. I think this could be this could be Ritual of Soot, um, or Golden Demise, like you know, like one of those two cards. It could be that. Yeah, I thought three search was necessary. I think Searcher's Canto was incredibly good in the deck, and I definitely liked having three searches. I think getting search early is is very good. I I really liked the three searches because I think the main win con of the deck is honestly just get to the late game and activate Search Risk Canta a bunch because you get lots of mana with Gift and Chromatic Lantern. Um, yeah, Search Risk Canta was awesome. Actually, kind of surprised it's only two Chromatic Lantern. That was a card I, I liked a lot. Really liked Chromatic Lantern to help us just play everything. 
So, there we go. Alright, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, feel free to hit the subscribe button, which is like following and stuff. And check out the other videos. Um, we're going to be playing a Bant Legends deck up next, but hope you enjoyed it, this. And that's it for me. Bye.